Hey guys, you want to see an unboxing video? Hey, hey, yeah, let me know. This, I feel like Junko dog. Hey, wow! One dog. One dollar. A dollar fifty. So everyone wonder why they name it dollar. Of all the names in the world, uh, why they have to call it dollar? Uh, I don't know why. Uh, why? Because in Chinese, mm. it's supposed to be pronounced as dollar. 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 Kim Ko Dollar. Kim Ko Dollar. Wait, in uh, Taiwan, where it is marketed, dollar, dollar, dollar. It makes good sense. You take the dollar, you go to the dollar store, you make something else. You save another 50 cents, then you have one dollar. <laughs> then you take your dollar, you go to the dollar store, you buy something else. So we have one dollar fifty here. The best is a dollar fifty la. At first look, people would thought, is this electric? Yeah, it seems like an EV. Eh? But it's not, it's actually an ICD engine. Oh yes, because there's an exhaust at the side lah. It reminds me of another similar bike, mm. the SYM Combi. It does have that look and its feature. We have a Kimco representative to tell us more about the Kimco Dollar Fifty. Yon, how are you? Care to share more about the Kimco Dollar One Fifty? <laughs> so the Kimco Dollar One Fifty, mm. like what? Zah says, uh, mm. so, uh, in Taiwan they call it Tala. Tala when you want to convert more to English speaking, so dollar makes sense. Yeah. So this is the dollar one fifty. They have the dollar one two five as well. So for the dollar one fifty, it comes with four variation of colors. So this is one of them, the white and the orange that you see. First view looks electric, but it's an ICE engine. What is unique about this bike? Is definitely the first thing that you see is the floorboard. Mm. So the floorboard itself is 38 cm and can hold up to 40 kg. Yeah, one of the widest in the market. Mm. So you yeah. actually put a box on it or a like a grab food delivery box. It will fit just right with enough space for you to put your leg. Yeah, it seems slightly bigger than the KRV. Yes, correct. It's yeah. definitely bigger than the KRV itself. This is meant to put stuff. So the next thing that you see is actually a features itself, which actually in the you just see it. Mm. It was a crush of a button and it is. Wow, we got backrest there, eh, guys. <laughs> this is a manual backrest. If you are uh, riding on your own, and mm. this is ideal, having the ship up as a backrest mm. and put your stuff. On top of that, the extended rack. Wow, this is amazing, I tell you. Woo! Rack. So, the reason for this is if, let's say, your box is uh, too huge, you can put up to a real size box, or if you happen to be having a one, you can do it both ways. Oh my god. And the rear, and still have someone sitting on board. You know, on top of that, uh, it's very unique. Like, there's also the grab handles at the sides as well, uh, which I love, man. Also, I love the storage compartment in front. It reminds me of the NMAX, can put water bottle here. And then the gas cap is very interesting, uh, guys. Show him. You have a piece of a key, popping out, and that's when you put on your belt. Oh my gosh. Or you need simple tap or refreshing in back. It also comes with a USB charging port. Oh, step C. Step C. So not the usual USB or the older one where you have a car charging. And you can charge your own phones. On top of that, ABS also included, eh? Front ABS as well. Okay. Yes. And not only that, this one has a parking brake. Oh, parking brake, yeah. Ah. Yes. So, so cool, man. So, Leon, who you reckon? Uh, the dollar one fifty is for so dollar one fifty itself in Taiwan. It is more of a lifestyle kind of like what I mean by lifestyle is that if you were to see uh, the pictures and videos online, um, people use it for many different uses for delivery purposes, yeah. as in for carrying of things, for going picnic, mm. going camping, things like that. And with all the accessories that they have around. They are able to customize and drop the bike to what they need. Okay, guys, currently for your info, this bike has just landed in Singapore's shores. 
So it's fresh from Taiwan, you see? Got Taiwan smell. Uh. They haven't yet homologated this bike yet. And there's no price available. Uh. So you can actually uh, go to the Kimco Facebook page. You can keep yourself updated on the pricing and other announcements. Uh. You can also come down to their showroom at... What is it? <laughs> at Ubi. You can also come down to their showroom in Ubi to inquire more about this bike. Once again, Leon, thank you so much for having the opportunity for us to uncreate the Kimco Dollar 150. <laughs> the name really gets me, lah. Auntie Uncle One Dollar. One Dollar, One Dollar, Hello One Dollar. So that's it for the vlog. We'll see you guys in the next one.